take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Coli and salmonella, all of which can make one very sick, food scientist Kantha Shelk told Business Insider. If you have a blue cheese, however, the mold there won't hurt, it actually tastes delicious. Brie, camembert, gorgonzola, stilton, and roquefort are perfectly okay to eat if you find some mold on them. Let's help you make your mark. What happens if you eat cheese with mold on it? Probably nothing, though in some people, eating mold can cause allergic reactions. In rare cases, it could be poisonous, and even cause vomiting, diarrhea, dizziness, and internal bleeding. So just in case, be safe, and cut that mold off. Make your mark, take our lead. Small specks of surface mold may develop, blue or green typically, but they're harmless, easily scraped off with no ill effect to the cheese underneath. You may notice, especially in Swiss and Parm types aged over one year, white specks or crystallized patches. Take our lead. Certain molds can cause allergic reactions and respiratory problems, the USDA says. And some molds, with the right conditions, can produce something called mycotoxins, that is, poisonous substances that can make you sick and even kill you. Take our lead. Calcium lactate crystals are the most commonly encountered crystal in cheese. They are often found in aged cheddar, parmesan, and gouda, where you can see them as long, white streaks or smears along the surface. Let's help you make your mark. Blue cheese is a type of cheese made using cultures of penicillium, a type of mold. Certain types of mold produce compounds called mycotoxins, which are considered toxic to humans. One, These mold spores can grow on foods due to spoilage, and they're typically fuzzy and white, green, black, blue, or gray. Two, Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.